been here about two or three minutes and we've had oh. golden rudd each. We've had crucians. Oh, Dad, look at that crucian. Look at the colours. That's a mad one, right? Cosmo's got a mad crucian. We'll show him. It's like a koi Check, koi that's koi like koi. a koi crucian. Oh. Don't reel, just awesome. lift him. Unhook him and hold him up and then we'll have, we have to get a picture of him. Check yeah. that. That is a mad little koi crucian. Proper ornamental. Or is it a goldfish that's changing colour from brown to gold? Oh, and Milo's got another one. Hang on one second. <laughs> just it Typically, Cosmo's gone and hooked a big one. Always away. I've just had this beautiful koi, first ever from Angler's Paradise. Only first ever koi oh, yeah. at all, isn't it? Yeah, and I watched it take the bait and it was just immense. Epic. Good battle as well. We've only been here about 10 minutes. We've, we've had, had crucians, crucians, rudd, golden rudd, golden orf. Goldfish maybe. Goldfish. We're not sure if it's goldfish or crucians, but definitely little yeah. crucians. Milo's been nailing the crucians and you've had like a koi crucian, a weird one, haven't you? Yeah. So mm, mad. Nice little beauty. I just want to get fishing now. I haven't had a chance yet. I keep getting taken, taking photos and that. Should we put him back? Yeah. Give him a kiss. So I've been catching loads and this little koi off came out. So yeah. Look at its little pattern. You can't really see it. I'll show you on the other side. No, you can't really see it. Yeah, you can really see it on that side. So yeah, let's put it back now. Last year I went on a bit of a mission to catch a goldfish and it took me nine months. There weren't actually many in the lake and Milo managed it in 20 minutes. Well today it's taken him seconds and I finally had a go with one of the rods and had this little chunk of a little brown goldfish. And then what'd you catch? A uh, fish. Goldfish. Goldfish. Um, took Stu months to get one of these. I rocked up and I've got one in about 20 minutes. Yeah, took a little Hinder's sweet corn and beetle in wafter that I've been chucking at the koi's. You nick the rod and catch a goldfish on it. So unfair. Go me. Pretty cool fish though, isn't it? Take your kids fishing and make it fun. The ball of maggots has worked again. How many? <laughs> you got two little golden rod this time. Both on maggots. They're pretty cool. This one's got a right old stomach. Look at that. Check it out. And look, my will it. They've been eating scales. the maggots. So you've got like two little golden rod. We've had loads of goldfish. You've had golden orf and even a koi. Is that right, Milo? Yeah, I had the koi, not let's him. Kiss. Right then, should we go and get those ones back in the water, yeah, please? Let's go. I haven't even got a rod in the water and mummy's got mummy's got a giant goldfish. We've just had these little bangers, white tail, long tail, awesome fish. Look at that with white tips. And that one's just got a really long tail. Take two, your kids fishing and make it fun. Yeah, two cool little goldfish. Should we get them back and see what else we can catch. Yeah. yeah. Can I have a go? No. I haven't had much chance to catch fish yet because I've been taking photos. So unfair. So we've just, I've just had this little banger of a goldfish. Obviously it likes doing the Mexican wave with its tail, but it's just awesome. Take your kids fishing and make it fun. Check out that rod. Look at the pattern on it, man. How cool is that? Stu's got the hump because he's so busy taking photos of all of us that he hasn't had chance to catch many yeah, fish yet. absolutely so. robbed. It's not fair. I'm gonna get on it and nick your rod while you put that one back. Take your husband fishing and get some peace. I finally had a chance to get a rod in the water and I've caught this one. Nice long tail, sink a bit different, looks like Cosmo's got a chunk. So I'm going to get it back in the water and then see what he's caught. But fishing here has been incredible, we've had loads of fish and we've only been here an hour. We've got a whole week of this, I can't wait. I guess the koi just keep on coming for me. So unfair, where did you get that one from? Your spot. So you literally dropped two inches off. Yeah. Because you were just really bad and couldn't catch it, so I just went to prove how bad you were. You're gonna call that one the carrot? Yeah. Carrot e koi. Because it is quite long and then it goes thinner at that end. It's got some cool patterns on him, hasn't he? Little yeah, it's got a load of, of nice black dots. It's just awesome. Should we put him back? Yeah. Cool. After Cosmo's koi, I dropped back in and got this one straight away, a lovely little blue and silver one. We're going to get him back now and try and catch some more. Started baiting a little spot in the edge with some pellets and these little goldfish are absolutely mullering it. Just trying to get a koi next to take my wafter. It's a right pain. I've got to say, I'm loving catching all these goldfish. It feels like a bit of retribution for my nine-month ordeal trying to catch one before. You never actually caught one, did you, Cosmo? Yeah, I've 
I've had more than you today. <laughs> but you never caught one before. <laughs> Take it fishing, make it fun, catch goldfish. They're awesome. Little orange, beautiful fish. I mean, check that out. How cool is that? Check out Stu's swim and he still hasn't caught anything. Mm, hashtag noddy. Oh, what are you saying now? I spoke oh, to you soon. Desperate catch. I'm going to push you in. It's a massive goldfish. Yeah. Well, check it out um, on the banded sweet corn wafter and sweet corn and beetle in. We've had first little common carp. I might really help for Uncle Moron. And he's got a bit of ghost in him. Nice little fight. Loving this on the pellet waggler. We've had so many different fish and we've only been here a couple of hours. This is just crazy fishing. I love it. Just had this big goldfish, biggest one yet that we've actually caught. All right, I lost a really big goldfish, really big and hook pulled twice. Because <laughs> you were. Which you was hilarious. Was pulling it really hard and I was like, you're going to. All right, lose you've messed that. with my drag. Stitch me up. No, you use your And he's reel. really hilarious. No, you use your reel, I use my reel. Alright, should fun. we get him back in the water? Yeah. Cosmo and I have just had a bet that this fish that mummy's hooked, he says koi, I say goldfish, 50p each. See who's going to win. We need to see colour, Meg. Let's go five pounds, Dad. No, I'm not going to bet a fiver five, on it. Five come on, come on, you're scared. Oh, see it's a koi. koi. That's me 50p down. <clears throat> Told you. You only cost me five pounds, Dad. That looks like the one you caught earlier. No. Does that mean it's a silly fish? It's not the one you caught earlier, though. Twice. Looking at it, yours had orange spots on it and that hasn't got any. Check out this little fish that I just caught. I'm just about to head up back to go and start cooking tea and leave Stu to do a last little blast before he comes up to join us. I've got to pack up now and you've caught my fish on my rod. Cosmo's poached a fish on my right on my spot. I just want my own koi. I've only had one. It's so unfair. It's all right, we'll leave you to it in a minute or two. You hold that. We'll have our photo. I've just had this goldfish. And I've just had this little chest for a koi. And Milo's still trying to catch one. They're coming out thick and fast now, aren't they? But um, yeah. I think it's getting cold and you want your bed and, you know, I'll concentrate on catching the fish for a little bit. I think that's probably best, yeah? I could always come back. We should put them back there. Yeah. Come in. Don't reel, just me. Slowly. Yeah. So I've just had this little beauty that just came out, and it's my first ever koi that I've ever had. And the first ever koi was um, this is a carp koi. A koi carp. A koi carp and just. Do you like him? Yeah, I like him because our first fish. Do they have teeth? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you only kiss fish with no teeth? Hang on, be careful of his fins at the front. Yeah? Careful of his fins. Good. Just add this little white koi. I think it seems to be the flavour of the day. Everyone having a little white koi. I even had a kiss from Milo. Lucky, lucky fish. Well, kids and Meg have gone to uh, make us some tea and I've had the biggest koi of the day so far. Happy days! On a little Hinder's white tooty fruity wafter. These seem to really attract the koi, the white ones do. I don't know if I think it's a bit of bread or something, but I'm definitely on it. Check it out, golden rod, how good's that? This place just keeps getting better. That's my, uh, I think it's my fourth species of the day. I've had off, goldfish, koi, and now golden rod. Brilliant. You gotta get yourselves down here. I've been here a matter of hours and we're just catching, catching, catching. And it's different every time, that's the beauty. And these are fish that you just don't get to catch elsewhere, so happy days. <sighs> what a fish. This is just awesome. Big chunky koi, they have right scrap as well. Loving life. Got the band as well. Um, float a right of time. I've just got to hook one of these now. I think we've got them going. I think it's safe to say they're having it. I 
can we get one? Let's type one with a hook in. Mm, time will tell. So these carp won't come out very easily because they're not stupid. They've got they're really smart actually because they can tell that because they're me and mine have finally caught one. On the floaters? Yeah. I banded a couple of flo uh, floater and then you. What did you use? Same. Let's begin as like ticked off, cut on the surface. Can I put them back? Milo, are you taking your fishing seriously? Mm -hmm. Look at Daddy's phone. Oh, Daddy's fishing. Daddy's fishing. Daddy's fishing. Daddy's fishing. No. Where's the water? What are you playing? Yeah. Colour hole. What are you saying about a cat? These are cats now. This little banger, my second fish. But look at that two tone, yeah. second tone on the lateral line. Yeah, it's darker above it and really pale below. It's, it's awesome. A pretty cool pattern, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty old gnarly fish. Should we put him back? It's just started raining a little bit, so we've put the barrel cover over our chair. So we're just sitting chilling here. Well, I couldn't be outdone by the kids, so I've got the floaters out. We've and have been this nice little dumbbell. common, biggest one so far. They're proving quite tough to catch, but we're getting there. This one I put a little exo, hinders exo pop up on trim down a bit. And it nailed it. So I caught this nice fish. Uh, Cos was very kindly holding it for me because I got a bit sore eye and don't want to get fish juice in it. And it's a ghosty, so why wouldn't I hold it? Because it might spook you. So we're on Lake 3 and we've just had these little beauties from the Mystery Lake. Mystery Lake? What's yeah. in here? It's, it's a, mystery. a mystery. Should we get them ones back? Do you yeah. want to drop, yeah. put them back in? First ever gudgeon as well. So, yeah. Another um, species on yeah. the magic lake. Nobody's ever caught a gudgeon in my family, so yeah. I've, um, I've caught thousands uh, of gudgeon. Uh, um, out of the mystery no lake. No one's had one out of the mystery lake, yeah, though. You're the only, only one. Me. And first fish of the um, gudgeons. Yeah. So the types of gudgeons as well. No. First type of gudgeon. It's the only type of gudgeon. No, it isn't. They don't do gold gudgeon. They do poisonous gudgeons. <laughs> no, I made that bit up. No, there is. We've moved on to the mystery lake. Milo's had his first little gudgeon. Cosmo's had some rud. I've had some rud. Milo's had some rud. And I saw this fish roll, cask a bunch of maggots at it, and uh, it took it straight away. So that's a nice little mirror from the mystery lake. I've had a common from ghosty common from the float lake i've had a few from the beginners carp lake and now i've had this one from the mystery lake so i wonder how many more lakes i'll get uh, a carp from another mystery from the mystery lake a little golden tench the kids have literally just gone to go and have a, a bath and a little bit of quiet and a bit like yesterday start catching them. they've got plenty of time left to catch one yet so I'm gonna go and get him back. Chunk out the margin. Don't be afraid to let your kids go for a bath five minutes early, and then you might get one out the margins. I think I better call it quits and go for my barbecue. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hello. 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 Is that your first fish from the tench like? Yeah. What else is it? Golden tench, my first ever one. My brother's just caught one and I think he's just lost it. Oh no. Should we get that one back? Yeah. Cool, put, put him, him down back. on the mat. Take your kids fishing and make it fun. Well, I've got another one. Okay. I've got a big rod. Do you 
just add this little beauty. Um, so yeah, I've just before this, I just had a golden tench, and yeah, it's been a bit flappy, hasn't it? Yeah, should we put him back? Yeah, let's put him back. Give him a kiss. Take your kids fishing and make it fun. To get a kiss? Nah, because <laughs> it's not a big one. <laughs> so just as blue off. First ever blue wolf. Actually, it's my family's first blue wolf. It's another one of it. our targets, yeah. wasn't it? Don't. Can hold it one-handed now. Carefully use it's... both hands, please, to support him. Good boy. So just add this one. My brother's just add one. Should we get him back? It's not a blue wolf. So yeah, let's put That's him back. That's a blue wolf. Let's go and see yeah. what your brother's got. Mine has been catching here, there, and everywhere, but I haven't had that much luck. But I've just had this little beauty, a lovely coy tench. Ticking my lots first of boxes, ever. Aren't we? Yeah, my first ever as well. So. Not bad off a tench like. Put him back. Yeah. Do not fall in. I won't. I'm not that much of a fan. You won't pick him up out of water. It's like trying to pick up wet soil. I've just had this little tench. Uh, it's really cute. It's first one for me of the day. The deal was with the kids that they had to come and catch one of these each before we can do anything else. So I think that's mission accomplished, but hopefully I'll come to see them stay a little bit longer. Especially now because Milo's had a blue orf and everything. Yeah, definitely. I know he's an orf. I think Cosmo wants an orf oh, Cosmo's too. Cosmo's into one. Let's put that one back. Just had this little beauty. PB now, I think. PB gold and Yeah, it's awesome. Kids have been giving me grief because they've been catching tench and I haven't, but the reality is I've been unhooking fish, taking photos of fish, putting fish back, baiting up, untangling knots, all that sort of stuff really. So I finally got one. I had some yesterday from the mystery pool, but I've now got one from the tench pool, so that's pretty cool. Another, another pool ticked off, but I want an off now like Cosmo has done. So anyway, I'm gonna go and get this one back because Meg's here and she's poaching my spot again. If Cosmo's not poaching it, Meg's poaching it. So unfair. So I've been hammering a spot for about 20 minutes and just stepped oh, this one pound six PB tench. Awesome. It's not a PB tench, but it's PB, PB golden, golden tench. tench. Your PB tench is four pounds, isn't it? Yeah. So you need to catch a four pounder. Maybe the specimen one. Get him back. Yeah. Well, I've just had my first ever golden orf. I've never caught one before. It was definitely on my wish list from here, along with golden tench and things like that. But this one I'm really pleased with. Milo's had a blue tent, a blue orf earlier in the day, and I'd still like to catch one there, and I'm sure he wants to catch a golden orf. But uh, we'll keep cracking at it and see what else we can catch. Check out this. I really wasn't expecting it. it took off like a little rocket, as you'd expect from a little barbel. Didn't think there were any barbel in this ball, but um, yeah getting surprised every time you never know what you're going to hook next it's absolutely awesome we're on our fourth lake and so far today we've had golden tench golden orf blue orf golden rudd and now a barbel all from the same pool brilliant so that's typical of what we've been catching today isn't it yeah golden rudd golden tench had loads of them this morning we've only been down here what two or three hours and we've caught loads Biggest one, biggest golden tench, one pound six. That's probably the biggest golden rod. Milo's had a blue orf. I've had a golden orf, and we've had a bar, and I've had a barbel. So that's five different species. Let's see if we can get any more. Should we put them back? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Two, one. Now what I've got here is a little blue, little, little blue tench, little blue orf. <laughs> Been after one of these. Milo had one earlier and I had a golden one, but I finally nabbed a blue off. So I've had quite a few species from this pool. I'm in the mood for moving, but the kids are absolutely loving it. I've never seen Milo fish so much, so hard in all my life. But then Milo does love tench because he's a little tinker. So this is how we've been fishing. Big bunch of maggots on a hook. We tried sweet corn and uh, this seems to be the most effective way for getting the bigger golden tench. Apart from Cosmo, who started using a little piece of biltong on the hook and been having loads of little tension rod on that. Anyway, let's get it out and see if we can catch one. There we go, see if we can catch one on film. Five, four, three, two. Hey, I've got a big one. Mm -hmm. 
check out another golden orf. Milo tried to nick my rod because he wants golden orf because he's had a blue orf but no gold orf. So we're going to have to try harder to catch him one, I'm going to push you in if you get another golden orf. No, orf. that's not very kind, is it? Take your kids fishing, don't let them push you in. Peace. Check out the koi rod, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah, check out it. It's got spots at the top. It's got a linear line. It's got red and blue. It's got red and blue eyes. I have this little brown goldfish now. Milo's had one already. A bit of a funny colour his was. It really cool. But he put it back before I could take a photo or video of it. So it never happened. So winner, winner, chicken dinner for me. More species. Better get him back. So just add this little baby, either a ghosty or a koi, don't really know. Some sort of carp. Yeah, beautiful little blue fish. thing. It's going to be cool when he's a bit bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Is he going back? Yeah. This is my biggest of the golden tench. It would be worth a quick video, put up a good scrap. We've been having these non-stop all day. It's just amazing the action on this lake. Milo's been fishing absolutely non-stop five or six hours float fishing, concentrating hard, catching loads and loving life. But he does love tench because he's a little tinker. <laughs> Milo, what did daddy do to mommy? Threw maggot at her. I passed your maggots. So what did you do to get, get him back for me? Oh, um, because he, um, uh, that's my check out my life. I stuck pant uh, maggots down his pants. <laughs> and what did he do? He had to um, pull his pants down. We've just come back to the float lake because we were all bored catching golden tench. We've had that many. And Milo has straight away had a little rud and now Mommy, he's that's had a bite. goldfish. So, should we get him back, Milo? Yeah, let's get him back back on the float like and I've managed to have a little brown goldfish. I want a koi really though. So I flipped my bait right over a koi but before the koi could get it this little beastie took it. Really nice fish. Another one for the float like. Yeah. And that's your first common from here isn't it? Because the other one was a ghosty that you had yeah. I think. Should we get him back? Yeah. So just add this beautiful ghosty two-tone linear. I love the green and the yellow just immense. I switched to a little white banded boosted pellet, banded about 8.5 mil, and had this little beastie. Milo is going on an adventure round town, and he insisted that he had a fish before he went, so he had that little beauty, and then just as he got it in, I had this. Yep, awesome thing. Just getting back. You thought about kissing him, Milo. Just to take my little mini hinders, tutti frutti wafter. They like a little white one in here. I had this little ghosty, silver with little gold and bronze speckles all over him. Proper stunning, stunning fish. Let's get him back and see if we can catch one of the big koi's. Ghost, isn't it? I haven't seen them. <laughs> Get there eventually. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, the white koi. Daddy cast his bait right out to a very specific fish that he'd seen. I just randomly cast it out and then just just after massive splosh behind my bait and then my reel just went and just didn't stop. Then I had this little beauty. Awesome white koi, isn't it? Yeah. Just put him back. Yeah. Check that little mirror from the uh, float lake, having loads of fish from there. Just silly today, honestly, caught so many fish, it's ridiculous, loving it. Um, if you 
you haven't been before, definitely come to Angler's Paradise. Worth every penny. We're still on the float lake and I've had this goldfish. I say gold, it's not very gold, it's like platinum. Incredible colours, I mean, some of the fish we've had from here have just been absolutely, crazy. absolutely crazy nuts colours. I'm just, you know, I like seeing my natural fish and I like catching natural fish, but for a change, to come and catch somewhere like this where you can catch things like this, lots of different fish, lots of different colours, it's just incredible. Shall I get him back? Yeah. What a stunning, I think it's a mirror koi come down to this little channel behind me <clears throat> goes around the back of an island and it was full of little koi um, so I dropped a little mini XO wafter on his nose and it had it straight away happy days oh, it's not that made, but a really nice fit. I don't know if there's a fight do they oh look at that that's real beauty ain't it it made you a bad American Australian Oh. Yes! So I went at the world and I had this. Some awesome, awesome colours. My PB koi. Don't know how big it is though, do you? No. Probably about three or four big pounds. Enough. We'll get a bigger one now. On that big orange one that keeps yeah. turning away our baits. I know. He's a feisty one. Should we get him back? Yeah. So, we both had a bite at the same time. A bit hard, because the channel's really slim to have two fish in, <laughs> but we did it, and I had this little ghost in. My dad had something else, which you'll see in a second. A bit under and over, Stone wasn't it? colours. Yeah. Should put him back. When Cosmo hooked his little ghosty, I hooked him to this little gold tench, or the koi tench, I think, I don't know what you'd call it, spotty, Dalmatian, beautiful. I'm loving stalking these little koi's and ghosties and stuff in this little channel. It's so narrow, so small, it's just hit them and hang on to the things. Put up a great scrap as well. Not happening. That's the thick way to do it. Hello. Um, what you got? Nice white coin. I think it's a white coin. Saw him come out of the bush, didn't yeah. they? And then watched it hit my bait, and before it had time to split it out, oh, it struck me. Can't afford to let them go anywhere though in here, can you? Look, you you've only got it. this little bay, and then it goes out through those reeds there. And there's a bush over there. And these bush bushes overhang a lot, yeah. so they've got a lot of room underneath. So there's not a huge amount of room. Look at that just one. There, it's water. Over there, can you see that one? Moving up this channel constantly. Got a big one or a little end? Let's have a look. Oh, it's not bad. Bigger than that last one, I think. It's the same fish. It's the same fish, isn't it? Yeah. No, I swear that's the exact same fish. It's gone under the net. Move the net, move the net, move the net. Let's get it in the net, not under it. You're the one netting it, not me. A blue tinge to it as well. Oh, crap. Wow, I'm straight in. Got him. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Oh, it's got like a single orange spot on it. That's a nice one, actually. That is very cool. I've cranked the dragon so much. My turn now. Just add this little beastie. Amazing fish with the orange eyes. Little orange spots on him as well, isn't it? Yeah, just one at the top as well. <laughs> Properly shining in the sun as yeah. well. Shame the sun's just gone out as we've gone, gone in as we've tried to video no. him. Should we get him back? Yeah. That is one cool fish. Yeah. 
So we've come down to a different spot from the one we were fishing before. And we've had tons of koi, tons and tons. Mainly white ones like this, but a lot of them have been just spectacular. What you got, Milo? A big one. You see what colour he is? Careful, just be gentle, don't wave it around. You just gotta keep him in front of you until he's ready for the net and tired. Yeah? No, 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 don't pull that hard. Let him swim around. Yeah. But it, just don't let him get round the corner and don't let him get into the reeds on your right. Yeah? Don't let him get into the bushes opposite, yeah? Okay, we've seen it too. It's just a little normal car. Dad, it's ready. He poached our stalking spot. Should we get him back in the water? Are you worn out from catching so many fish today? Has it been good though? Do you want to go fishing with Zane and ZJ tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And Zenya? Mm -hmm. Cool. Because we know the spot. Well, on hang on, Nana, the... put him over the mat. Hold him over the mat. Um, on one of the... Well, they're going to tell us... Thingy, the pea. They're going to tell us pagoda. Yeah. They're going to tell us a good spot, so we'll go with them as soon as they run the place. Yeah. But if they've got... Um, a good lake and they don't have a good spot on that lake you've got we'll some good go spots on, yeah we've got some good spots the pagoda cool. is best isn't it yeah kids are gone for a get ready for tea i've stayed on managed to bag another hopefully i'll try and get a big fat orange one because that's what i'm really missing get this one back it's the last one of the day i'm gonna head back and get some tea with the kids this one's a pretty cool fish to finish on but and uh, put him back, head off, and tomorrow, a new adventure. It's only when this goes under that I've got a bite. Careful, I'll get that, it's tangled. Can I get it, Dad? <laughs> We've come down to El Dorado yeah. today to have gone some, done the different yeah. lakes on the um, Angle of Paradise complex and we've had millions yeah. of little rudd and Milo's caught the first perch as well haven't you? Mm -hmm. Well done Milo, should we get him back? Yeah let's put him back. We've had a few rudd down at El Dorado and now the perch has started coming so hopefully we'll get some big chunky ones. Catch one in less than a minute. Watch this. Three seconds. Drop it in. One, two, two three. three. Yay! Got one in less than a minute. Three seconds. So we're gonna do the 30 minute challenge. So um so you can catch the most fish and I have so far. I'm gonna try and this. see how many rods you can catch. Watch this as well. One, two, three, quarter fish. Oh, it fell off. One, two, three. Oh, it fell off. One, two, three. Your practice isn't going very well. We're going to start doing a 30 minute challenge to see how many fish you can catch Milo, yeah? Mm -hmm. Little Rudd, Half I'll help you. Challenge. Cosmo's going to start the stopwatch and I'll help you with unhooking and baiting up and stuff to see how many you can, okay. see if you can beat your record of 28. You ready, Cosmo? Uh -huh. Three. Took mine out the water. Three. Out the water. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Done. Oh, you got. I've got to touch the fish. One, two, three. Stop having it so short. Let some line off. Look. Keep the line off. Three. Oh. One, 
What number are you on then? Seven. Pass my alarm if we think that way. You've got the stopwatch. Yeah, you've been timing. Come backwards a bit so I can get to the maggots without getting the hooks. So how many have you caught in your, in your 30 minutes? Because that's 61. frantic. 61? That's not yeah. possible. Yeah, it is. That's a record, isn't it? Yeah. Better than mine. I got 56, I think, is my record. Yeah. You did have a bit of help, though, didn't you? No. Look at me. You did Dink. have a little bit of help. Dink. Is that your 61st fish in 30 minutes? Yeah. Should we get him back? And this is the little beauty because this one came out last... And at the last second it came out, so let's put him back. Boom. Boom. My first fish from the Eldorado Middle Light, and a seven and a half pound carp couldn't look any nice. In the you didn't want to come down either, did you? We've been mm. fishing up on the top lake, getting little rod, and you yeah. didn't want to come down and just chuck yeah. the carp rods in for half an hour. But Worth it now? Yeah. Should get him back. Yeah. And then put him back down. Way warmer everywhere else, but probably just the Atlantic winds blowing in. <laughs> Come on, Milo, show me how it's done. <laughs> you got a wetsuit on. Just go straight out, Milo. Fish by the little pebble. No, it's a shrimp, innit? No, it's a Double fish. It. It's a fish. It's a fish. Teeny tiny little fish. That I found. Milo, what are you eating? Chocolate ice cream. What kind of ice cream? Garum fruit. Is that really good? Did you get a little bit around your mouth? Don't think anyone will notice though, you're alright. Nah. Is it tasty? Do an L lift. Hand off. Legs off. Do an L lift like this. And that's higher. Higher. <laughs> Here, we can. But this is definitely the only way to travel. Faster. Pedal faster, Stop. pedal faster. Stop. Pedal faster, come on, faster. Stop. Mush. Stop. Who's letting Milo drive? Right turn. 
didn't have to come down because there's people waiting to come through now. Wait, I can see why Milo found that so easy. Ah, oh, that's really, really tight. You mean Milo's beating you at it? No, it's really tight. It's harder when it's too tight. And I'm not wearing the ah. best. Where's it gone? Come down to the easy access lake this morning, see if we can get Meg her first catfish, and also because I want to try and catch a catfish off the, on a float rod. Um, I've lost a couple of tiny little ones. I finally had this perch, they're all nailing my worms, so we're using worms on a float, and uh, hopefully, we'll get one sooner or later. Perch are definitely getting bigger, but um, could do with an even bigger one or a catfish ideally on the float. Fingers crossed. I'm trying to use a bit of luncheon meat to lure a cat on the float, but so far only getting rud. This time at least they're getting a little bit bigger, but come on, I want a cat now. Oh, there's a normal rud there. Normal I bet you there's something decent under that. Oh, it's golden ore. I want a blue Right, we've given up on the easy access lake. It's been a bit tough on there. Kids want to catch some stuff on the floats. We've come down the tents lake and there's a massive shoal of rod. There's millions of them. And then so I think we're like going to be catching. Yeah, Let's get the rods out. Milo's come down to the tents lake and he's absolutely smashing it. He's had about six rod already. Let's get him back. Yeah. We're having loads of these little tent, little rod on the tent pole. No, no tent yet for some reason. You got one as well, Milo. Yeah, they're oh, no, cool, I just aren't had they? A tent. Should we put them back? Came off and lost it. So I've just got a golden tent spot going just after you said that we weren't going to get any tent. No, we weren't having any tent. And Cosmo just helped me set up my new pellet waggler, and this is my first fish on it. So thanks very much, Cosmo. 
How cute are these little tents? Just look at the colours on that. How cool are these going to be in a few years' time? So, just add this little beauty. Cosmos just added blue all. Blue tench. Blue tench. And I found the new um, tench uh, town. And I am now the new mayor. So, yeah, I say who can go in. Let's put in black. So, I've just had my first ever blue tent a species that I was desperate to catch at Angler's Paradise. As soon as I figured out they had them, and I've finally done it. And the biggest one we've had yet as well. I've had one, Milo's had one, now you've had one. Yeah. I've got to get the off now. I'm going to get it back and get yeah. it back into the off. Yeah, it's good. Fun down, because she is the burglar. Burglar. She's the burglar, I suppose. I've just caught this lovely little fish uh, with a bit of thanks to Cosmo for helping me along the way. Um, take your mum fishing and make it fun. It's nice if your kids can teach you something there and again. So I've just had this lovely golden tent, one ounce under my previous PB. Well, it's still your PB. Oh yeah, but <laughs> really nice yes, tent. Get him back. While Cosmo was putting his golden tench back, I nicked his rod and poached his spot and had this stunning little blue tench. I mean, check out the colour on that. Insane. Still not as big as Cosmo's blue tench, but, you know, it's another blue tench for me. I'm happy with that. So I've just had this lovely polka dot. Why did you start your sentence with this side? I don't know. It's just a thing that I do. Anyway, you had a lovely blue tench. Little yeah. black spots. Cool lads. Uh, yeah. You're hammering them off this little spot you found, aren't you? Yeah. Anyway, Three off that spot. I now. need to go because I need to go and poach it. Bye. Cosmo said. Dad, not, Dad, 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 you just had a I'm not allowed to, to, to poach his spot anymore. Rubbish, really, isn't it? He said he's going to keep build a wall to keep me out. Thinks he's President Trump. Got hair like Donald Trump. It's not really a wig. You got little hands? What? Donald Trump's only got little hands. No, my hands are pretty big. Probably about the same size as Trump's are. Yeah, I'm but getting... he's like 30 years older than me. I mean, so I mean. Like... Right, I better go and concentrate. <laughs> I can't help poaching Cosmo's spot whenever he's not in it. You can get cool tench like this, look at him. All spotty. And gold and orange and what a stunning little fish. Here we go, um, little gold off. Just went for a quick wonder, came back, poached Cosmo's tench spot again and had this lovely golden off. It's about the third one I've had. They haven't been as easy as a golden tench and we certainly haven't had any blue off today, but. Um, definitely been the theme of gold, golden off, golden tench, golden rud. Awesome. We've been fishing the tench like with the kids. We had loads of rud and golden tench and blue tench and golden off. Come onto the float lake. I managed to bag this pretty quickly. I love these koi. They give a right good scrap. I'm going to get him back now. So I just had this little beauty and I'm literally lost words. But um, look at its fins, it's so beautiful. You gently hold him, watch his fins at the front. Get your hand there, get your hand at the front. That's it, now tilt him back so we can see him. Check out that common koi cross. Yeah, and you can see the fins, can't you? Yeah, and he looks very, very cross cool. with his fin up, doesn't he? Yeah. What do you think? So, and I want to weigh him. He's a pound. No, it isn't. He is a pound. We're weighing him. No, we're not. But give him a kiss and we can put him back. So bye bye that. fishy. Bye. I'm gonna catch you again, okay? When you're bigger. No. When gonna you're about a hundred times bigger and I'll catch you again. Check out this lovely orange and black koi that Milo's just caught. Proper nice little chunk. We're gonna get him back quite quickly. He's worried that mummy's gonna catch one while he's got this she one out. She has got one. Let's see. Little Let's get this fish. one back in the water. She's then, got yeah? a tiddler, I've got a big one. Alright, put him back in the net and we'll take him away. I've just got this lovely little fish and Milo's giving me hands getting him out and on the uh, unhooky mat. Thanks Milo.
people come here for the carp and cats and I've got to be honest, not really that bothered. All I want to catch all day long are these koi. They put up a really good scrap on light float gear. They're loads of fun, bright colours. You never know what you're going to get next. But, you know, you can't fish, find, catch fish like this anywhere else. Check out this tubby little goldfish that just tried to take a pellet that we were hoping a koi would take. All right, fat little fella. All right, little belly on him. Obviously one of those goldfish in the fish tank that like to eat everything. Gentle, gentle now. Just gently ease him back in front. Keep him out, try and get him out of them reeds. Keep your rod to you, pull the rod round, that's it. A good walking though. That's it, you got him out. Keep, just keep the line tight now. Real, 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 real. Not an orange one, I don't know what, don't reel anymore, just lift. Oh, it's a big white one. You get the net. Someone's going to scream now. Just don't reel, just lift. Raising. It's a nice one. The first, first white one. First. What you got there? Big first white one of the day. Were we supposed to be going home for our tea? Yeah. And did we decide we'd stop on and try and catch yeah. one more? Yeah. Do you reckon we're going to have one more? Yeah, for me. Yeah, let's try and catch another one, yeah? Yeah, let's put him back. All right, give him a kiss. Love the tail. tail. There we go, let's put him back. I've just had this little beauty and it's been a tiny, tiny little bit flappy and this place is really awesome. That's the last one today because yeah. we've got to go and have our tea because we're Yeah, and it's, we? it's very cool <coughs> because this place is awesome because it's a fishing holiday that just has fishing and a games room and stuff like that and a pub and it doesn't have any like you can't go really like shopping because there is shops here is that a problem nah but <laughs> it's very cool because it's just fishing and games and you and, can catch fish like yeah. that can't you and it's up to 100 pound cat fish yeah oh well held right let's get him back on that now yeah. So we've dropped on to Pixie Lake, one of the lakes we haven't been on, but we've almost finished all the lakes and I wasn't having much luck. Just randomly dropped it out, saw a huge shadow emerge and had this little beauty. Getting back, yeah. yeah. Check out this little stunner, I mean. Just look at those colours, it's incredible. We're on a Pixie Lake, we've had a bit of a move today and it's Pixie and Magic. I've got the kids behind me, we've got another car. So I better go and get this one back and deal with that. I've caught a big one. No way. Bigger than Cosmo. Bigger than this one? Yeah. Never. So I've just had this little beauty and um, just as to my dad had a little baby carp and it took one maggot. Um, so yeah, and it took one grim as well, if you're an adult. One grim? Yeah. What's a grim? A maggot. Uh, right, should we get him back? Yeah, let's put cool. him back. Check out these. Nice little ghosty. Nice little common, one each. So I've just had this little beauty and we've moved one step from there backwards. And I've, Cosmo hasn't been having any luck from there. But now I have had some luck because I've just had this little one. Had a few rod and a few yeah. carp, haven't we? Yeah. Should we get him back? Yeah. Can we? And have a smile and a kiss for the rod. Typically, it's our last day and the weather is absolutely cooking. Best day we've had so far. <gasps> um, Milo's getting frustrated because he's in a bit of a tangle. I'll go and sort him out in a sec. Stop, Milo. You're getting in a strop. I'll see you in my video. <laughs> anyway, 
better go and sort him out and put this one back. So I've just rocked up, dropped a rod in and got this straight away. Mission accomplished, off to the next lake. Yeah, it's, it's magic like now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We've just moved onto the, is it magic this one? Or is it yeah. pixie? We're getting both confused, but we've just moved on and we've both had a little rud. Some nice coys in amongst there. Pixie we've gone to now. Um, it's absolutely heaving with little carp. Cosmo's got a koi on, so we need to put this back and go and net it. By the look of things, it's a decent one. So I'll go and get this one back. Go with that, you'll have one straight away. First koi of the day. Really nice fish as well. Awesome colours. There's loads more on the top as well. Yeah, isn't there? and nice, nice. Quite yeah, a big fish. Yeah. Milo. I don't even know yet. Pull, don't, don't reel, just slowly pull. Oh no. Has it come off? his fish on my rod because he could he'd already lost two so I hooked it for him then gave him the rod he got it in unhooked it and I saw a koi in the like just behind us dropped it in and had this little beauty a really nice couple of scale koi with only a couple of scales right let's get them back and then put yeah. them, make sure you put them in the right lakes yes and then we'll go and net mommy's through you put mine in all right sometimes the nicest things are small and cute they don't always have to be big I'll just add this little beauty, take your kids fish and make it fun, let's put him back. You join us as Cosmo is making a meal of playing a one pound carp. No, it's not. Alright then, a three yeah, ounce look at rod. The size of it. If you see the size of it, you're going to change your just mind. Just take your time. Right? Look. It's big. It's at least a pound. What's all the fuss about? No! Um, I've had a little common, Cosmo's had a little mirror. He's lost a big common and we're going to keep going and see if we can get it. Bit of revenge, yeah? Yeah. Got an hour. Smiler's just had that lovely, lovely common with beautiful colours. The same colours as my first 20. And I just dropped in in the back, the lake behind us and add this in like 10 seconds. Oh, again, and again as well, isn't it? So my brother's just playing a fish because he just got one. As soon as I finish the end Are video. Are you kidding me? And it is so small. He's a little baby because it's so small. <laughs> and uh, this one's the biggest, the other one that I hopefully can get yet is the biggest uh -huh. that I had one, the before because it flipped off the mat when it straight back in the water and now putting him back so i've just had this one whilst cosmo's dressing with his little roach <coughs> and um i've just had this big one and this is gonna go in my book because this one is, is very did you very cool yeah and I am right, very right we need the net, net milo net, 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 net. get him back okay i'll put him back now put him in the net no, 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 no. Do you want me to no, net him? Yeah, daddy net him. No, he might let him. Daddy net him. He might. Yeah. Hold that and film. Oi! Oi, good boy! 
was just sat there, he wasn't going anywhere. You know, it's like a pal, it's like a little African kitten. About six pounds. This is the uh, carp that you've been playing for about an hour, isn't it? It's only about five pounds. So I dropped on the lake that everyone else was on and had this beautiful fish, nice size as well. Milo, Milo's got his own little battle going on in the background, haven't you Milo? Uh-huh. Do you need a wee still? Yeah. How bad? Pretty bad, I'm really it. <laughs> That's a flying fish. Jumped out of the net. So I just had this little one. Mummy's on the balcony right now. Yeah, she's back here somewhere. Where's yeah. she? There somewhere. Yeah, and I just heard a fish splash. But um, I was playing my fish in the background of Cosmo. And then, yeah, I've nailed this little boy in. Should we get him back? Yeah, I'm putting him back now. So I've just had this one, Miles, and it's the biggest one yet. And Cosmo's playing one right now, and I really love the feel of it. It's so nice, and I love this. I'm gonna. I literally don't want to put him back. I want to keep him. Let's get him back. Yeah. We've got to go and get Cosmo's. So I just chucked it out in hope of getting a bigger one than Milo. Um, it's the same, a bit smaller, but really nice colour. So I don't really care on the size. Quality fishing, isn't it? Yeah. This is the day of Cosmo can't day, catch one. It's the day, we're just having a break for lunch. Yeah. If Cosmo can't oh, catch no, one. it's really the last fish of the day. Cosmo's got one. Yeah, I'm going to put one this fish back of the day. I'm putting this back down. So I've just had the last fish of the morning. Absolutely beautiful colours. It's crazy. This afternoon we're going swimming, so really looking forward and to that. And then what we're doing? Fishing! Yeah. Yep. Bit of a dilemma this afternoon. I did fancy going for a massive koi. That's one of my targets. But those of you that know me know I like a challenge and I like catching all kinds of different species. It's not all about the size. Um, sometimes it's just about getting out there, trying different methods and different techniques to try and get as many different species as possible. And uh, talking to Xenia and some of the other people here, there's three species I'm missing. I've caught everything bar um, a chub. It's a lake with some chubbing, a gudgeon, and I know where they are because Milo's had one, um, and a cat. Now, the cat's going to be the biggest challenge. I was trying yesterday to get one on the float. Um, so today, I'm devoting the last few hours at, at Angler's Paradise to try and get my three missing species. Fingers crossed I can do it. It's a bit of a miracle. I've been here about 10 minutes and I've caught a gudgeon. So all I need from this lake is a chub and then it's onto the catfish. <sighs> Two species left. Apologies for the low quality t-shirt tan, but I am cooking today. Check out this linear. No chub yet, but there was too many of these cruising on the top to ignore them. Should really concentrate on the chub, but check that out. What a nice little chunk. Give me a right little scrap under all the marginal plants and that sort of thing as well. We are back on trying for the chub and get a little carp. Want a chub? Come on, chub. Check out this linear. I put the last one back and there are two or three carp feeding in the margin. Didn't, they didn't bat an eyelid and took the bite as soon as I dropped it in. I just want a chub though. There's still more carp feeding there now. I'll try and get a video of it. Don't care about the disturbance at all. There's about three or four carp feeding there. I just want a chub. I wish a carp would get out of the way. It's lovely as hard to catch. I want a chub. Check them, check them out, troughing. If I drop a bait in there now, it's gone in seconds. Under, 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 under. That's it. Got one, Codsway. Watch that weed that you got it wrapped around. Yeah. You've got to play it under that bush now, yeah? Don't try not to lift it too much, real. Keep it low. Keep the tip as far underwater as you can. You've got to play it underwater. 
stop rolling. Right, lift. Right, stop, don't lift anymore. Don't lift anymore. Yeah. It's not little, mommy. Watch this. Is that a big fat whopper? Yeah. Down, 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 down. Real, 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 real. Stop. 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 Do not reel again. Down, 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 down. Don't reel. Don't reel. That's it. Not a tiny down, 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 down. Real, 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 real. Oh! Oh, I'm so busted. I am now drawing with Milo in the species challenge. I have just had my first Angler's Paradise gudgeon. I have had gudgeon in the past. But not from Angler's Paradise, so, yeah. That's a pretty big one as well. Yeah. What you got, Milo? Five-year-old, um, two-year-old, I think, um, gudgeon. I don't know how old it is, it's a yeah. gudgeon. But gudgeon don't last very long, uh -huh. do they? They only live five years. Yeah, so he could be five years old. So much do you know what? They're one of my favourite kinds of fish. I know, we can yeah, literally not. It's not as cute as baby tench, though. He'll they go are on proper my finger. Cute. He'll Let's go get on him back. Finger. He'll go on my finger, won't he? He will, but you need to, um, you need to get him back in the water, yeah? yeah? Can we capture a gudgeon bite live on film? Milo, you're in the way. One minute you're having a perfectly sensible gudgeon match, and next thing you're getting Milo. Oh, Milo, God. So, um, Milo was sitting there beasting daddy so I, so we can have a go. And I had a couple more goes than I was meant to when I had this little beauty. So I've just had this. We've been trying to catch a gudgeon, but this golden tench came out, so I'm putting them back now. Gudgeon match went wrong. No wonder we weren't catching any gudgeon. Yep. Nobody was catching any gudgeon. So this naughty fella just whacked me in the nose with its tail, like that but harder and let's get him back can you give him a kiss for slapping mm -hmm. you in the face nah because <laughs> he's the naughty one so he slapped me in the face it's a bit of an angry common isn't he yeah let's put him back well i think i failed up my job i'm not even going to bother with the catfish now um when you're catching little linears and fish like this who cares i'm just gonna have a few more fish and then call it a day i think Baby cup, do 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 do, baby cup. Possibly one of my last, if not the last fish from Angler's Paradise. Stunning little carp. I think it's a goldfish, really, rather than a proper carp, but what can I say? Brilliant. Cosmo, temptation oh. to push you in is strong. So this one's going to be probably one of my last fish. We're going to pack in in five minutes and go for the curry and presentations. Um, I know we haven't won any of the big fish prizes, but um, we've had a lot of fun catching these little ornamentals. I'm going to catch myself a, a rud, I think, last, because that was the first fish we caught, and let's see, it seems fitting to make it the last. Had a brilliant time here. Put photo or not, do you reckon? Mm -hmm. The last fish. Yeah, good point. Yeah, because we'll go after this. Not after one more fish because it's not I catch because I want to catch one. And I'll just lob something out and have little rods. So there was this really specific fish that was about twice as big as this, maybe. And beautiful, beautiful scale patterns and everything. And they dropped it right on its nose, but before it could take it, this cheeky little one had it. Put up a right last, old sprawl, Is that going to be your last fish from Angler's Paradise this trip? 
Uh, probably, unless I can get that rod there. Where are you going to try and get a little rod? She loves fish. I'm going to get a rod. I'm going to try and get nothing the or stick. just a bigger carp. I've just had this little one that just came out and it's not going to be a last fish because I, I have six minutes to catch one carp. Yeah, you've got six minutes, but is that why you're in a rush to put him back and don't yeah. want to do any video? I'm putting him back now. Picture with him. Well, I will, actually. Because I can put... That he has. Oh, oh. That you had your... Slow, my life, mm. slow. Mm. Look how much line it's taken off. Oh. Come on, this is a big one we've got away. You cannot lose it. We're not going to weigh him. Yeah. We're not going to weigh him. Oh! Oh! We might weigh him. Oh! oh. No, I don't, don't know! Don't, 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 bend, the rod don't bend the rod anymore. I don't know how I'm playing it by myself. You're going to snap, snap Mummy's rods. I don't know how I'm playing it by myself. If this is an OPV for you, I'm going to be so happy. I don't think it will be, but if it is, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> this has got to be the last fish. I'm not catching one after this. I'm not mm. catching one. This is the last fish of Angler's Parish. Well, if I did the net, you could just quickly go and get a little rod. <coughs> I don't want one. This is the last fish. It's gone into the reeds. No, yes. no it hasn't. <coughs> be careful, Marlon. Oh, Marlon, Marlon, Marlon. Tip down, tip down, tip down. Please don't go into the bushes. Don't just wind. The last fish of the day. If you lose this, I'm going to literally be so gutted. I am as well, because I really want this one in. I'd be more gutted with them. Only about eight pounds, mm. not ten. That, that, that can be a... My love, careful of the tip. Don't reel really anymore, my can... Oh! Oh! oh. Oh, oh, yes. oh, that's ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> High five, Milo. So I have just had this beautiful, beautiful carp that Cosmo's been trying to catch for about um, an hour. Yeah, and um, it's finally the last came. fish. Biggest and fish. And the biggest fish of the session. Yeah, last fish, biggest fish. And it, I really love it. This one might get a kiss at the end, but yeah, I really love it here at Angler's Paradise. Hashtag if you've ever been to Angler's Paradise. How much do you love Angler's Paradise? It's awesome. A lot, a lot. Do you want to come lot. again? Yeah, yep. let's come every year. Yeah, we're coming every year. So what do you do at Angler's Paradise? Play Fun. darts, swimming. A take, lot of take fishing. Take your kids fishing. And? Making make it, it fun. fun as well. You get him back? Yeah. Give him a kiss, Milo. You know you want to. I've already gave him two kisses. Now. Oh, yeah, another two one. kisses. Another one. <laughs> and another. <laughs> and another. Right, let's get a net. Yeah. yeah. It's set to fun like the catfish lake. Biggest fish, my life. Uh -huh. You never mentioned. Yeah, we just ended Angler's Paradise because we're leaving now, and sadly we've got to go. Um, but um, I caught the biggest at the end, and I and um, I've won a prize from catching sixty-one fish in. 30 minutes, yeah. which is crazy. Yeah, it's very hard, isn't it? Yeah. And how many fish do you reckon you caught over the week? More than a thousand. Yeah. Oh, easy. And what's your favourite? Mine was definitely the blue tank. Mine was my end fish because I snuck it off Cosmo. Yeah, <laughs> sneaky manoeuvre, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I got it off Cosmo. Put it in the edge whilst Cosmo had a golden tench. Yeah, and, and I just wanted to sleep. I'm playing a fish, I'm playing a fish. Oh, really big one. And so, which was your favourite, Paul? The tench lake. Nah, mystery. What? Mystery. And, yeah, and would you come again? Yes, yeah. definitely. We're coming every year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is it your new favourite place? Yeah. yeah. Would you bring friends? Yeah. yeah. 
And what would you say to other people who are thinking I'll bring of coming nine here? Friends. Yeah. I'll bring eight friends. Is it worth it? I'd bring eight friends. Cool. I'll bring 20. Take your kids fishing and make it fun! It's all about Milo's just come for the dance. For me, yes. What? Not for you. The score? <laughs> it's like. Cosmo, what's the score? Like 20 and 11 to me. We didn't score. No. 20 to 12 to me. Oh, that will leave me now. See, I won, but. Yeah. Stu, oh. what's the score? Fixed. That's what it is. Mila, where do you want to go now? Swimming. Come on. Where's the swimming pool do? Just down there. Let's see. Come show me. Let me show you. Lift the pipe up. It's not close mine. Wait, I forgot what to do. This is the best. One mystery like. So that end of that. What lake is this? This is Magic Lake. Abracadabra. So this one's pixie like. And just there is where we're staying. 